excited to make some hot cross buns. Right here we have the milk, which we have warmed up, and we are going to prepare a sponge with this dough hook in place, and we're gonna add the yeast to it, lower this down, and allow it to rest for about 30 minutes. To the sponge, I'm also gonna add the malt syrup, and that will allow it to ferment just a little bit quicker. Now that the malt syrup is in, we will mix it, and then we'll allow it to rest for about 30 minutes. While the sponge is resting, let's look at the other ingredients. We have some butter that has been softened, salt, little honey, lemon zest, and here we have some spices. We have nutmeg, allspice, and cinnamon. Over here, we have some currants, and some raisins that have been soaked in Vin Santo, which is an Italian dessert wine. We have some candied orange peel, uh, eggs, chocolate for a surprise in the middle. We're gonna begin by putting the salt in there and also the spices. And we're gonna mix this all up with this dough hook. Let's look at our sponge. Oh wow, it's nice and fluffy. To it, now we will add the flour. And there's this nice little gadget that comes with this where we'll just set it right on here. And then slowly, we'll be able to add the flour right to it. Let's put some of the other ingredients in, such as the lemon zest. And we're gonna add the honey. Then we'll also add the sugar, the eggs, and let's crack them right in here. Look at the gorgeous color of this egg, absolutely beautiful. And now check this one out. We will add the eggs to it as well. Close it up, and then slowly we will add also the butter. the butter a little bit at a time close it back up okay here is our candied orange peel we're gonna put that in look how pretty the dough is we don't like too much of this candied fruit but here we have the raisins and the currants that have been soaked into the Santo and have been able to rehydrate a bit we're not gonna put all the Santo in but just the fruit how beautiful this dough is. I took the hook off just so you could see it. Now we're gonna mix in the fruit and we will be able to allow the dough to rise. You can see the dough is coming away from the walls of the bowl. And we are done. Now we're gonna cover it up. Let's just scrape everything down well. We're gonna cover it up and put it in a warm part of the house to rise. Check this out. We just got our dough out of the refrigerator and we're so glad that we actually put it in a plastic bag because otherwise it would have totally spilled over. Let's look at it. We're going to bring it a little bit to room temperature and we will shape them into small balls of about 80 grams each. Wow, look at this dough. Love it. Let's peek inside the oven. Um, the temperature doesn't need to be very high for our hot cross buns. The oven is at the right temperature, and so we just have a gentle fire. We have already prepared the pan by buttering it. And now we're going to cut off portions of this dough and cut them into about 80, gram, 80 grams portions. 80 grams, perfect, look at there. So what we're going to do, we're going to kind of fold it in like this and then in the center, we're going to have a surprise. We're going to put some of this chocolate inside, tuck it under, and then kind of rotate it. And there it's nicely closed and here we're going to place it right here with the others. We're going to do this until all of them are on the pan. 
Now to make the cross on the hot cross buns, we're gonna put a little bit of oil into this flour and a nice pinch of salt. And then we will start adding this water to it, not everything quite yet, and make a batter that will be easily piped. As you can see, this is still way too thick. We're gonna add a little bit more water. You just wanna make sure you don't add too much and then it becomes too soupy. So we're gonna incorporate all the flour and then we will put it into a sacaposha, like a decorating bag with a thin tip on it. So I added water until it has become about this consistency right here. Now we're gonna to have to make a syrup to go on top of the buns when they come out. So we're gonna use two eggs, a pinch of salt, brush this up so we can brush each bun with some of this. So here we have the batter ready, all ready for piping. And now we're gonna get ready for the syrup. As for the syrup, we will need sugar, water, and rum. And this we will prepare on the stove. We'll pour the water into the pan and in the center, we will put the sugar. Now that the sugar has dissolved, we're gonna let it simmer for about five minutes. And right at the end, we will add the rum. Five minutes are up, and now we're gonna put the rum in and turn it off. Now we're gonna go over each of them and just very gently brush them. So now we're going to take this bag, the sacaposh, and just go over our hot cross buns. And the same here. one of them. There's a little spot missing here. Let's fix that. There we go. And we'll do the same thing all the way down this way. Our buns are now ready to go into the oven. One pan is already in and here comes the second one. We will close the door and let the oven do its magic. Check out these beautiful hot cross buns. The color is beautiful. The aroma coming out of here is amazing. And now we're gonna put them on a cooling rack. Our hot cross buns have cooled. And now we're gonna put this beautiful glaze on. And I just wish that you could smell the aroma coming from this table. Them on a plate right over here and serve them with a nice cup of tea or a nice cup of coffee. Now Sarah and I can barely wait to open one of these guys up. Oh, and there is the chocolate. Look at that. Yum. Buon appetito.